Radhe Radhe everyone. Radhe Radhe Guru Dev. Radhe Mahabha. Thank you. Uh, I would just like to ask. Oh yeah, uh, the sh screen sharing is enabled now. So um, let me just first uh, say a few words for introduction to this. Um, I was. Uh, I'm very excited, you know, about this sharing today, because yeah, this is something very special that that uh, I have uh, never told this to anyone before in uh, like uh, publicly. And uh, as some of you know, that I also paint, and um, but lately for quite a few years i wasn't able to paint too many things only a few paintings and i really uh would like to be able to do this more often in the upcoming period and but this this one thing i would like to share with all of you is something very special that um occurred a few years back uh, when uh, I actually I would like to share now to start now this presentation just a second just a second um, oops just a second I have to be honest I have to make be familiar get familiar with this sharing okay um share uh can you all see my screen right now yes 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 very good yeah so now uh, i would like to tell you a story uh how uh when you paint something that is guided and blessed by guru dev's mercy then this this uh, service becomes alive and becomes very blessed and and it becomes a portal actually to the spiritual dimension and uh, some very interesting things uh, start happening actually what happened is as you see the title here how goranga came now this this might be surprising a little bit but i will just uh tell you that probably some of you are familiar with man most of you with this uh painting that you see a uh, um, few years back actually to, in 2018 uh gurudev requested me to paint the portrait of uh, uh um Vamandas Babaji Maharaj, who was the spiritual master of uh, his grandparents in Munger. And uh, there wasn't much known about him, ex except that he was a very loving and, and merciful person. Actually, if I, I don't know much about him, but who, if you somebody knows or Gurudev knows, they, you can me, um, correct me later, but this is how this portrait, the picture of him used to look like before. That was on the altar in Guru altar in Munger Mandir. And uh, as you can see, this was very old painting and, and very much in a, in a damaged uh, uh, state. So I was requested to to paint a new portrait and uh, but there was no much information about him no pictures no photos no reference but uh, this is how he appeared mercifully later but how did he come from this state to that end result is actually quite amazing is that I needed a, about one year to to be able to to come to this, and the only reference that I had at that time 
is this very old picture of the altar in Munger Mandir, uh, in uh, Munger, actually, sorry, it was, it was a, a pic, a uh, photo from, from that uh, time, um, from uh, Munger that is called, th this temple was called Prema Mandir, that was founded by, by uh, Vamandas Babaji. But you, as you can see, this only picture of him is this, this one, um, very blurry photo and this on, on the right and also this painted image of him that is like a flat image uh, made on some uh, metal i think and cut out and it was instead of a murti actually so this is when it is enlarged as you can see it's very blurry but that's a photo actually it's his photo and as you can see, there is not much visible of him, just that the, the silhouette and his, his facial features that are like very blurry and, uh, and that he had mustache and a beard, <laughs> not much practically, but it was um, very mystical how, how he actually appeared. And for one year, I've been praying and, and trying to find some reference of how did he look like. And uh, um, there was nothing except this, this one photo. And, but I was only paying attention to him, to his photo, not to the whole altar. And this, of course, which is um, like a painting a contemporary painting from that time that was probably made from that photo or according to the photo. Uh, but what, what we could see that, that he was really a, a loving person and uh, some love and nice energy is coming from him. But still, this, is, this was very difficult. And in 2019, I actually tried to really to, to pay attention and to paint him. I was praying and first I tried and tried and it, it, he wasn't really um, the way I, I, I saw him because I actually closed my eyes and when I started uh, praying, there he was like, like posing. And I was thinking, wow, well, I've been searching for you for such a long time. And I was trying to find the reference, but it didn't come into my mind that I have to ask you and, and uh, that you come, please come personally and sit down and pose. So I closed my eyes and there he was and he was posing. So I was so, I was so happy that he finally came. So I was able to paint him. And you know, it was such a great, it's a, it was just such, such an amazing thing that I was painting and it was guided like each and every uh, brush stroke was actually um, somehow guided that now put this here, put this here. And um, this was towards the end, how it looked like. And it was so amazing that the moment I have put the last brush strokes in in the eyes in his eyes like some uh, um, glow at that moment i had a feeling that he looked back at me you know he was alive and and it was like oh my god he's here he's looking back and and i started crying i couldn't uh, you know <laughs> believe that this this is really here and, and this energy of his presence started uh filling this whole space by the way he's he's still there if you can see maybe uh i don't know later i will show you so this painting is still here and what happened next that okay uh, I showed it to Gurudev and, and we made a copy of it and we sent it to Munger Mandir and he is presently now on this, on this altar. But what happened the next day 
is that uh, Dina Dayal, my dear Dina Dayal, uh, uh, he he actually sent me a Viber message with a video of Radha Govindaji from Jaipur, a da- a, like, a, like a darshan video or something. And he told me, you know, I just had a feeling that to tell you that Govindaji is telling you I have arrived. And I was thinking, wow, why? What was the message behind this, you know? And uh, I was like a little bit confused. And I was thinking that, okay, I don't have Radha Krishna deities, but I have uh, Radha Krishna Govardhan Shilas. You know, they're like my deities to me. Like, they're, they're Radha Shyam, Radha Krishna. They're not. I don't. I wasn't thinking about having any deities before. I did, but then I gave up on that idea. But then I just got happy that I had Radha, Radha Krishna uh, Govardhan Shilas. But at that day, this fiber message came and said, "I have arrived," and I was a little bit confused. Like, what is this? How is this possible? And then I started searching on the internet, looking for some maybe small size Radha Krishna deities, but none of them were really attractive. And I was like, oh, why am I doing this, you know? And this was just the next day after Babaji's painting was finished. And uh, actually at night, I I couldn't sleep and I just went on Google and searched and searched. And none of those deities seemed to be interesting, uh, not interesting, but they were like, not, not, wasn't that, you know, until I came to this website that was called Lazy Pujari, you know, and this uh, website title was like, oh my God, Lazy Pujari, that's me. (laughs) And I was thinking, oh my God, you know, uh, this is some uh, uh, message for me. And I noticed this beautiful Dameshwar Mahaprabhu, this Gauranga Mahaprabhu that you can see here on this picture. And I was just amazed. Like, oh my God, he's so amazing. I couldn't take my eyes off him. You know, he's like, oh my God, that I, f- I tried to forget and I, and I turned off my phone and the screen and everything. And in the middle of the night, I wake up and like, oh my God, I have to look at him again and, and say, oh, you're so sweet. But what I didn't mention before, one very interesting coincidence uh, is that uh, Dina Dayal and I were planning to go to Germany that year. And for some reason, that uh, travel was canceled. But we already booked a room in Prague. And we didn't want to uh, um, cancel that, that booking. So we thought, okay, let's go just there as tourists, you know. And, and we kept this, this uh, uh, room there. So... Uh, when this came, that that this deity, this this beautiful Goranga Mahaprabhu is about to come, uh, it turned out that he is in Prague, it, and that actually we are supposed to go there not because of that previous journey, but because of him to get him. So we actually, uh, I contacted this lady. Her name was Malati. And this is our conversation. And he sa- she said that, oh, I'm so happy that somebody fall- fall- fell in love in- with him. I never planned. He was- she was there in-, in-, in Navadvip. And she never planned to buy him. But she couldn't take her eyes off him when she saw him. And uh, she actually, it was so easy. Everything, the arrangement was so easy that she actually made everything to so so that we can get him and you know what happened next that i was still confused that that how is it that he 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 wants to come you know and uh, i started noticing all sorts of coincidences and signs 
I started noticing Gauranga Mahaprabhu everywhere, like like this same kind of shape and and everything. Uh, and then it dawned on me, you know, that wait a minute, you've been looking at this altar for one year and you didn't notice that the main deity who is there, the main person on this altar is this Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Of course, this picture is torn, so you can't see the, the hands, but the expression, the, the pose of his hands is exactly this pose that this little Gauranga deity had. So wait a minute, this is the same Gauranga because you have painted uh, uh, Vamandas Babaji and, and so he actually wants to call his own Goranga here, you know, to be together with him. Do you understand? And I was like, oh, my God, it's it's him. It's you. I told him uh, it's you who, who actually uh, uh, brought here your own Goranga, you know. And, and, uh, and this is how it was so amazing to actually realize that it's not only Babaji who appeared, but he brought his own Goranga Mahaprabhu together with him. And uh, then I started noticing uh, uh, Dhameshwar Mahaprabhu, Goranga Mahaprabhu from everywhere. The, the pictures and the coincidences started pouring in like uh, this um, interesting thing that also I started noticing photos and messages from um from uh what is his name uh oh my god my my brain blocked now <laughs> uh uh on the picture Maybe anyway, uh, Paramadvaiti, Maharaj. Paramadvaiti Maharaj, yes, yes. So, so uh, actually, I started noticing pictures like him holding a similar Goranga Mahaprabhu, you know, and and also a message that says, "Wouldn't you, wouldn't you love to travel with this sweet Mahaprabhu every town and village in the world, you know?" And like very strange coincidences from everywhere but i didn't mention that this mataji this lady who was uh, about to give us this mahaprabhu was his was his disciple actually so i sent these messages to here to her these pictures and she was also quite amazed and uh, i told her the story about uh, babaji and everything you know how he actually was the link between this mahaprabhu and uh, his coming here and she was also amazed that she also started noticing Mahaprabhu everywhere. And and this is her ex-boyfriend or husband, I don't know. But she, she sent me this picture that she actually, the whole time she had a tattoo of, of him on his arm. And she didn't even notice that, you know. <laughs> it was like so amazing. This Mahaprabhu started coming in and appearing from everywhere. And then... I also noticed my altar picture of um, Pancha Tattva that I had here for many years, actually for maybe, I don't know, 10 or 15 years back, I had this picture of Pancha Tattva and just noticed Mahaprabhu in the middle is exactly the same pose uh, Mahaprabhu that was about to come, you know, it was like, oh my God, everything is just the same. He was already here. And then he came. And he is so, so, so beautiful and merciful and amazing. And at the moment I saw him, he was just like Radharani. You know, Her, his, his whole appearance is totally Radharani. And this is when we brought him. It, it was in Prague. And... Um, this is how he came into our life and uh, I, I even became became even more and more amazed every day that actually babaji who is living here now <laughs> since then he turned this whole home into his prema mandir you know he actually brought him his own goranga here and he's he turned this place into his temple so so I, I just 
needed to share. I haven't said this before because I didn't know how, how, where and when, how to say it. But this is probably the moment where I could share this, how he's here now. And uh, this is such, an, uh, such a miracle, such a great mercy and blessing that he came. And as you can see, he's just showering his blessings and mercy. So this, I could say it's a replica of the Prema Mandir there. So because Babaji is here, his Mahaprabhu is here, and they are connected. And this is how this, this mercy is, is just expanding. And this is he, him now, actually, a few days ago. So uh, I would like to, to end this uh, presentation by, by uh, singing one song. And I will start like... <clears throat> Bhaja Gauranga, Kaha Gauranga, Laha Gauranga Rana Amare, Ji Jaya Jana Gauranga Bhaja, Shehaya Mar Pranare, Gauranga Bolia, Tubahu Tulia, Nachia Nachia Bada Ore, Gauranga Bolia, Tubahu Tulia, Nachia Nachia Bada Ore, Gauranga Bolia, Tubahu Tulia, Nachia Nachia Bada Ore, Bhaja Gauranga, Kaha Gauranga, Laha Gauranga, Rana Mare, Ji Jana Gauranga Bhaja, Shehaya Mar Pranare, Gauranga Bajile, Gauranga Japile Hoi, Dukera Basanare, Gauranga bajile, Gauranga japile hai, tu kera basana re. Gauranga bajile, Gauranga japile hai, tu kera basana re. Bhaj Gauranga, kaho Gauranga, laha Gauranga ro nama re. Jai Jaya Gauranga Bhaje Shehaya Mar Pranare <clears throat> Worship Lord Gauranga, chant Gauranga, Sweet, speak about Lord Gauranga only. Do those who worship Lord Gauranga is indeed my life and soul. Chanting Goranga, go out with your arms raised, dancing and dancing. By chanting Goranga and worshipping him, one's miseries will end. This song is actually um, a favorite song that was sung by Lord Nityananda Prabhu. And this is how I'd like to end this uh, story and presentation. And... Um, I would love to ask you to use this opportunity also to ask you for your blessings and your mercy so I will be able to continue because I have a feeling that um, this this painting is actually a gateway, a, a portal um, for me to, to enter into the spiritual world. Jai Ho so beautiful. Jai Mama Naba, Das Baba Ji Ki Jai. Jai. Yoga Ranga Mahaprabhu Ki Jai. <laughs> And your service, Thank you.
Very much. nice. Thank you so much, Mahabharati. So beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, dear Mahabhava. I love you. Thank you. So please uh, give your blessings so, so I may uh, uh, be able, because there were so many obstacles up till now in this um, painting, and I would love to be able to just remove all those obstacles and just get into it. Thank you. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, Radhe, thank you so much. You are blessed, my dear. You are blessed. Big, big hug. I, I, I don't know who was talking, sorry. <laughs> this was Rajeshwari from Germany. Rajeshwari, we didn't see your picture. Oh. Gurudev, there's any comments on Gurudev? Thank you so much, Mahabhav. Yeah, no. Most beautiful. I never take darshan of Bhagavad Maharaj because it was my grandfather Gurudev and by his grace Mahaprabhu appear in Prem Mandal and he became my grandfather devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This is the grace of Bhavandas Bhavaji. And he was really tender to him. But you painting give really that in darshan to him, thanks to my paint picture from Bhavandas Bhavaji. Here I can feel by the fish looking at Maharaj. Maharaj is really, Bhavandas Maharaj is really like living and from his eyes and from all his four of the I can feel it. Thank you for this painting. Right. Thank you. You are great. So you are very connected to him. For this. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Radhe Radhe. Oh, uh, um, they, um, they wanted me to share him his paint picture more. Actually, I might try to to uh, hold my um, my laptop, and because he is over there in the back, so so I I will try to. To bring bring my laptop closer, Oops. so you will be able to see him directly. Oops, it's just I don't know the. It's a little bit blurry. The camera is not so good, but I will share him on the screen also. But this is him here. 
Yeah, and uh, I will show you Mahaprabhu. Oops. And he's he's just across the room, in the on the other side. Oops. So so this is my Radha Radhishyam, and this is Mahaprabhu. So so they are be, they are able to look at each other every day. They are seeing each other. This is this is it. And I will show you this picture once more on my screen. Just a second. Um Uh, so this is his his face actually his eyes and one interesting thing that whoever came here you know non-devotees i mean quote unquote non-devotees i mean everybody who who came were somehow i don't know maybe hidden devotees who knows because everybody who came in here his they saw his his face his eyes and they they just melted and they they thought oh my god he's looking at us and he has this loving energy and you know what uh the security guard in my workplace when he saw his him, I mean his his picture, he was he fell in love with him instantly, and he said, "Oh, I want to have him," you know. So so I had to uh, make another copy uh, on on a big canvas and framed it, and I presented him for Christmas. <laughs> and my this the security guard in my workplace. He has, he has Babaji in his home and he feels so happy. He says, oh, he's, we are friends now and we talk and, and he's taking care of me. Just imagine, you know, and he doesn't know anything about the bhakti or devotees or anything, but Babaji is living with him and, and he's taking care of him. Just imagine. <laughs> it's so, it's so amazing. And, um, but he doesn't work at my workplace anymore. He, he's retired now, but he still has him uh, in his home. And he asked me to uh, tell him more about him. So I will, I will now probably I will tell you, tell him more. So he will be surprised <laughs> actually, because everybody, uh, even devotees or, or whoever comes non devotees, they, they just feel his love because I also feel it that he is not his presence is beyond all um, physical, you know, dimensions and, and bar barriers that people make. And uh, love actually can just penetrate through all the conceptions that people have, or they don't even have to know any philosophy, but they, they feel the love. So this is how this uh, security guard at my workplace. He he felt his love, and because he had an open heart, and love can really uh, uh, change everything and and do any everything. Uh, people, simple people, they don't need any any uh, philosophical explanation. They just have to. They just feel it, and and they are transformed. So who knows who uh, who is this security guard? I, I someday I had this strange idea that he might have been some disciple of him. Who knows who got caught here <laughs> in the West and and just stayed here and doesn't know anything. And suddenly his his uh, Babaji is coming in his house and stays with him for the rest of his life. <laughs> So this is also one interesting thing that happened. Radhe, Radhe. Oh. Here.
Wonderful, wonderful, Mama. It's a it's an amazing miracle story of your service and how this yeah. service connected you to the guru of grandparents of Gurudev. And we can see that the mercy of Mahaprabhu through his devotee is flowing endlessly, mercilessly, and mercifully to all the souls who come in contact. Yes, Thank that's so sharing. amazing how, how this love is spreading and uh, whoever sees him, he, they, they can feel him like, like a father figure, you know, like some, somebody who is taking care of them. It's amazing. And he really is like that. Uh, you can sense it in his eyes that he's so very, very sweet, very jolly, very loving, and and as if he wants to hug everyone, you know, he's like very, very sweet. And whoever saw him was like, oh my God, I see my father in it. I see, you know, somebody they love, you know. So this is what love is actually, but uh, it's, he did it on his own, you know. He just let, said, put this brush stroke here, put this here and I did that and he started looking <laughs> he was looking back and I was like oh my god he's there uh, I'm sure that many devotees who do any kind of creative work like um, either painting or poetry or or anything creative where they can actually uh, open their hearts and and really uh, become. Uh, I, I always say that that an artist is a channel, is a, is like a transparent medium. So if you if you really connect to this spiritual dimension, you can do that through prayer, to eagerness, to desire, to really please also your guru and and the Vaishnavas, and uh, you you actually don't even know how you become uh, a channel and uh, this th these these works either poetry or or paintings or even cooking or whatever you do creatively they can become portals doors for not just connecting yourself with the spiritual realm but whoever gets these uh you know, sees the artwork or hears the poetry or hears the song or kirtan or tastes some very beautiful prepared prasadam, they actually get the, the door open for the spiritual realm. And this is such a sublime thing that, that we are able to be instruments in this. And and so that's it's not only we get the mercy, but everybody... Uh, also creating these beautiful deities it's also a form of art and these uh, sculptors who make them are actually very much in tune and connected just like uh, there was one little uh, detail about the creation of this Mahaprabhu deity and actually when this Mataji told me how he uh, got him she went to this very remote store in Navadvip and she didn't even know how did she end it there. She, how did she get there? And she was trying to purchase something else, some other deities, and she saw this beautiful Goranga deity and this uh, the sculptor who was there, you know, he, he said, Oh, you have to take him, you know, <laughs> you have to take him. He doesn't want to stay here alone, you know. And then and she she just didn't know what to do. She took him and she brought him. <laughs> and uh another interesting thing that I remember that many, many years ago, like maybe I don't know, a few decades ago, I was thinking, oh, if I ever happen to have a uh, Goranga deity. I would love that he, it is Dameshwar, you know, this this uh, Mahaprabhu who has arms standing like this, as if he wants to hug everyone. So, and, and this is how I, I didn't even know when and how he will come, 
but he just came in this most beautiful form and it, I don't know, he's just so much in this mood of Radharani. If you can see that he's, he's, he has these beautiful eyes and very, very in the mood of Radhika. I don't know how, but I kind of named, named him. And, but probably, I don't know if this name, it's like an official name, but I don't call him this way. But as like, I just say official name is, Rasaraj Mahabhav, you know, Radharani and, and Krishna together, they are Goranga, this Goranga Mahaprabhu. Although, whatever. <laughs> That's it. Thank you, Radharani. Radhe please also post him on the uh, Radha Dasyam conference. Then the vote is always okay. can have a look and take darshan okay. at home. Okay. <laughs> so now we would uh, like to ask also Govinda Prem for his sharing with all of us. Are you there, Govinda Prem? Du musst das Mikrofon öffnen, du bist stumm. Ja, ich hab's. Äh, Suniti, kann man mich hören? Ja, wir hören dich, wir hören dich, we can hear you. Okay. Rade, rade, dear Gurudev. Und rade, rade, my dear Vaishnava family. Wow. It was so miraculous, this story from Mahababa. Wow. I have also a very miraculous story. It was uh, 10 years ago in Dole, in this castle in French. So our Gurudev gives there a class and he spoke about uh, the Mahabharat and the scene when Krishna was carrying Draupadi during the rain to the tent of Bhishma. And uh, when Gurudev describes this scene, I feel I, I can see it. And there was, was one moment when Gurudev described um, when Bhishma Dev makes open his tent, Prabhupada goes in, and then Bhishma saw Krishna staying in the rain. He saw his wonderful color, his wonderful black hairs, and Gurudev describes how the rain, raindrops flowing from Krishna's Uh, skin and uh, the color of his uh, painting and the eyes mixed with the water. And this was so intense, this description of Gurudev. I saw Krishna directly before me. And I feel the tears uh, filling my eyes and I looking around to the other devotees, and I saw they feel the same. They have the same feeling like me. They saw Krishna through Gurudev's description. So uh, this day goes, and um, I went home. And the next day, when I wake up in the morning, I see still this wonderful Krishna before my eyes. And I was, the, the, the desire raised up in my heart to see more. I want to see more. What was happened there 
and the battlefield of Kurukshetra. What was happened with the Pandavas? And I prayed to Gurudev, please give me the blessing so that I can see more. I want to see more. I want to see more details. And it was so miraculous. Over the next seven days, I was there. I was there and the battlefield of Kurukshetra. I, I was like a witness and I saw the Pandavas. And every day when I was driving in the car, I was there. Normally, I would make an accident. But I don't know what's happened. I could drive and I was also there in the scene on battlefield by Gurudev's blessings. And when I was buying something in the shop, in the supermarket, I standing in the line on the pip of the people, I pay the bills, but still I was in the battlefield of Kurukshetra by the Pandavas. So this was going on seven days. And I was so it was so exciting for me. And I prayed to Gurudev, please don't stop. Please don't stop this blessing to me. Please let me let me there. So and I write it down uh, what um, my experiences and and seven pages, and uh, I only want uh, tell you one one um, one experience what I had in one day. Um, I was thinking, uh, Bishma Dev, he he cursed the Pandavas. And he said, I will kill the Pandavas the next day on the battlefield. I will kill them. I promise this. So, and uh, by Gurudev's blessings, I found myself one evening in the tent of the Pandavas. I, I was there. I saw Nakula, Sadev, Maharaj Yudhishthir, Bhima, Arjuna, they're sitting around on a table in, in the tent. And the, the uh, what, was heißt in Stimmung in English, die Stimmung? Mood. Uh, mood. The, okay, thank you. The mood was very uh, depressed because every, everybody knows they will die the next day on the battlefield. It was the promise of Bishmadev. So uh, Nakula and Sahadev, uh, they both, they was a little bit uh, 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 verzweifelt. They was, uh, they was a little bit disturbed. And Bima, he said, I, I will take care. I will fight for my life. And I make the promise, our our uh, our woman, Draupadi, Draupadi, he will never be a widow. I will promise this. But uh, Yudhishthir, he said, there is no chance. Bishmadev, Bishmadev said he will kill us and he will do this. And uh, Arjuna, he was the only one who makes a uh, positive uh, speech. He said, my dear friend Krishna, my chariot driver, he will take care of us. I have so many proofs that he protect us from the enemy. Why should he not protect us the next day? I have totally trust in my friend Krishna. So, uh, in between, Draupadi had made uh, and, uh, and the stove and the oven uh, some nice cakes, sweet cakes, fresh, hot, sweet cakes. And she served this to her husbands and all they enjoyed these nice uh, cakes. 
and um, the atmosphere was depressed, but uh, by Draupadi's nice food, they all enjoy it. So uh, Bima, he want to make a joke. And he said, wow, it, this tastes so nice, these cakes, these cookies, so nice. They are very hot. Uh, you have to take care. And then he said, it is very interesting. Uh, the, the discussion is hot. The cakes are hot. And Draupadi is, <laughs> the he could not say hot. In the next moment, Draupadi crashes the heavy plate on his head. And immediately, a hematome arises on his head. <laughs> they all was laughing and choking. And in the next moment, Krishna opened the tent and he steps in. <laughs> and then <laughs> Krishna saw this hematome and Bhima's head and he said, oh, Bhima, what a wonderful jewel you have on your head. Where can, where can I get this also? And the panda was, they was laughing and laughing. And the whole night, the other warriors, warriors and her tents and the battlefield, they could not sleep because of this loud laughing, which came from the tent of the Pandavas. <laughs> so this was only one story uh, where I was uh, a witness, and uh, <laughs> I want to make it uh, short. Uh, Gurudev always say to us, uh, he is our navigator. Of course, I understand this. But for me, Gurudev, <laughs> you're not only our navigator. For me, you also a magician. For you, for me, you are really a magician. I only by your descriptions, by your words, you open the spiritual world for us, and we are there. You you take us and bring us directly to the lotus feet of Radharani on the lotus feet of Krishna. And uh, this is really magic. And uh, sorry, I'm now a little bit low in the mind. <laughs> but I want to say uh, thank you, Gurudev, that you open for me this uh, experience. Thank you for the service what you uh, give to me. And the only wish in my heart is uh, to make Radharani happy by my service. When Radharani is happy, Gurudev, then you also are happy. And when you happy, Gurudev, then my goal is there and I have nothing to do more. My life is perfect. So thank you for patience hearing. Uh, sorry, my bad English is not so good. I try the best, but thank you for hearing. And uh, please bless me, all my Vaishnava family, that I, I can make my Guru Manjari happy. And then my this is the fulfilling of my life. Thank you. Radhe Radhe. Thank you. Govinda Prem, Kelly. Realization touch our heart. This is all mercy of my Guru Dev. How he told me with his grace, I am nothing, I am only his small instrument. And Radha Mohan Mercy, that I can be useful to serve Vaishnava. That is my fortune. If I am possible that some realization come by their mercy, but I am only his instrument, he is the doer, main doer. Radhe, Radhe, thank you. Thank you, Gurudev. Radhe, Radhe.
Suniti? Yes, beautiful. I also want to add that I remember that class and uh, I didn't have this long experience like you had, but what I realized at that point is the how the this magic to to be able to listen and have experience of some feelings of the beauty of the relisher, which obviously who is relishing, they can help others to relish, and who is connecting, they can help others to connect. So I remember that class in Doha, and thank you for sharing also how your realization uh, go on for one week, and you become uh, uh, you had a real opening to the to the, the Pandavas and Krishnas. Uh, experiences there. Thank you. And now I want to give the the word to my dear friend Sue Devi by the here yeah, about your ashram. Sue Devi is uh, having the a very beautiful yoga ashram. An ashram which was actually created years ago. Eight years ago. Here, out of experience and realizations on this ashram. Yes, thank you very much, Gopinath. Okay, now we are back. Gupinath nominated me to speak, and I want to thank Mahabhav for, for her luscious, heart touching, really astonishing story. And for that, was Govinda Prem has shared to us. So it's quite difficult to speak after them. I tried. I'm living in an ashram with for another woman. Raseshwari, Sukriti, Vandana, and Madurika Priya. And this ashram was the, the house of the parents of Sadoma. And this house was in a quite poor condition, but by the vision of Sadoma, she had the vision to establish a temple to worship Srimati Radharani. Before that, she had founded a temple for Iskon in Cologne as a disciple of Prabhupada. Guru Dev Sadhu Maharaj visited our ashram for three times. And this was the really auspicious festivals. And he knocked at the window saying, this will be a good ashram. And then Sadhama and I, we renovated the house. Before it was a shop for food, and it should become a room for real nourishment. And when the renovation was finished, there we became we got we got really wonderful Nita Goranga deities. So Niti's sister-in-law took care for them in Berlin, but she wasn't able anymore to do the service. And Sunidi asked Gurudev who should take care for them. And Gurudev decided Sadoma. Sadoma should take care for this really beautiful Nitagor deities. And together with Guravani, they brought them from Berlin to our ashram. And now we did have a really a responsibility. And we can nearly daily, I would say, experience the mercy of Sri Nityananda Prabhu. Gurudev instructed us, these are Nitai Gaur deities. First, you need mercy. Nitai is mercy personified, and I'm a really good example for needing mercy. So 
So we are allowed to serve them. Also it's very so pretty and oh, sorry. It's hard to see. So Raseshwari Sukriti, Vandana and Madhuri Priya associated with us. And we all were really shocked and in a deep grief after Sadhuma has left us. Sadhuma has had a real authority and at the same time she was humble. We are missing her still. In February 20, Gurudev gave us the advice daily sing the Arati in the morning and in the evening. And each of us should she took, take care for our ashram some hours a week. And we followed his advice. So we are five women, three singles and two are in relationship. And we all have full-time jobs outside. We are learning to integrate Radha Dasyam and full-time job. And it works really nicely by the mercy of Gurudev and Nitai. We, le- we are learning to communicate communicate with each other and it is improving we are helping us we are consoling we're having fun together we are dancing together we're taking care for each other and it's also perhaps necessary that we have we do have our privacy and we do our service We are following Gurudev classes and we are reading together with Kundalata and Karuna Priya Radha Rasa Sudanidi once a week since two years. And Suniti has had a real deep friendship with Saduma for over 30 years. She is, I would say, our Shiksha Guru. She is really important for us. And we want to do one day seminars in our ashram and uh, but because of corona it wasn't possible and we will celebrate Nityananda's appearance day and Radastami in a great big festival and there has also been a Hopo Opono seminar with Madhuri and perhaps uh, we, we are doing an, one, an open door day with yoga And we try to do mantra singing, perhaps once a month. We do have a guest room, free. And we are all uh, Gurudev's disciples. And for me, it is uh, not really understanding standable mercy. I'm going down deeply. We are feeling being protected. So we are growing full of vitality. Inspirated, creative. Yes. Mm. Perhaps. Suniti. <laughs> yes, this I remember. Susan. How we all got together. Yes with our Sadhuma and we had this nice festival with you, Gurudev, in the castle, in the <laughs> schloss. <laughs> I remember that. And, uh, oh my God, there were 80 people. 80, that was a lot for this kind of rural area. And you remember, Gurudev, you were there and we like to take always pictures with you. And... Uh, There was the sprinkling water, and we have one favorite picture on our altar is with you on the sprinkling water. Yeah. Yes, yes. And Goda Sunda is also always cherishing this moment. Yes. <clears throat> you remember Gurudev? <laughs> Such a beautiful area there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Some years ago. Yes. So nice, Good, huh? And I want to. Yeah, and this is the Takujis. Oh, Sita <laughs> Goranga, they are, I mean, yeah. top beautiful. Top beautiful. I mean, these are they like are, also very, very attractive. They are in my size. <laughs> <laughs> they are not small. 
They are very big size. Big deities. Very big size. And they are similar to the deities in the Cologne temple. They are the yeah. same size and uh, uh, Saduma uh, was can doing... You please, can you please show... Can you that please show yeah. these deities again? Yes, I, I'm, I'm looking for it. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna find soon. <laughs> they because uh, there are v exactly almost the same deities here in Novi Sad that were uh, actually traveling deities of the Goranga Bhajan band. Oh, wow. really? Yes, really? and they are uh, actually made by one of our local Fine. devotee artists, um, Vainatea Prabhu. And they are almost the same. So I wonder if they are made also by this same devotee. Yeah, they are Thirty years ago, 90s. Mm -hmm. Are they marble? Yes. Made of marble? Yes. Yes. This is not porcelain. Wow. They, they came and they gave so much mercy now. Big uh, job, big seva to, to keep the spirit up and the same love and happiness that Saduma was sharing. And now that by by some providence, we are together for almost a week. <laughs> the Radharani wanted us to come closer and to to share in our Radhadasi mood, a very intimate. And every day we do some singing and sharing, and so we have many heartfelt moments. And thank you, Gudi, for making this arrangement. <laughs> Thank you. So, that mass that Saduma is a great soul. I give this name because she is I love like a mark to her. She is a great soul. In all respect, in organizing program giving love to all, care to all. She is a great soul. One day I was attending in White Room, nice place, she organized program. When we are coming back, I say, under the house, what is this place? She is a shop. My father was running, but he's closed now. I said, why not make something in this? He said, what to do? I say, make some place where you can help to the other kids. Small ashram. And then she do it beautifully. And now I listen when he left the only one room she make us some old east so oh, big house she all awesome is a great and she give this responsibility to her best friend so David that you have to now take my responsibility and do it. And so Devi was so much in love with Sadhuma that she don't know what to do. I suggest now you have to do fulfill her wish. That is your love. And she has so much love, she is fulfilling all Sadhuma wish that I'm very proud of Devi. Now I see Sadhuma inside Devi, and I'm very proud of that. She is <laughs> has taking the role of Sadhuma and Sudevi. 
both inside her. And I am very proud. <laughs> Kriti, Rasheshwari and Sukriti friend, all they come and they are living nearby and they are sharing and helping Sukriti, great soul, my daughter, I love her very much. Our friend, what I give name to her. What is that for? Madhurika Priya. Madhurika. Madhurika Priya, Guru. And she is really Madhurika. She is very sweet, very kind heart. Once I say, leave Guru, come here and stay here and see. Stop her business and come. I'm very proud of her. Thank you, Madhrik, that you are helping for the mission and trying to together with all activities in the book for helping to all souls and devotees. I'm proud of you, Rameshwari. Bandana is also coming doing right. So all are there. Matajis can do because this Ananga Manjari yes. is so Nityananda. And also Mataji, you see. And Mahaprabhu is Radha two sides, inside and outside. Is Radha Krishna is inside. <laughs> In the wind between Radha, two sides, and in between Krishna. So Chaitan is Radha, bhav, feeling, and cover with Radha. So they are teaching without a spiritual body, without female, you cannot serve to Krishna. The female is more powerful. You see, my uh, Suniti, she is a very great teacher. They accept him like the Siksha Guru is there. And I am proud to listen to this word. I authorize this for Suniti that she has to do and she has to work for like that. And you have to start, you have to invite everyone. One more thing I want to say. You have to make more special speciality of Nitai there. Nityananda, Nityananda festival, Nityananda Kirtan, and welcome in Nityananda festival or any function of Nitai. Everyone. Nitai goes every home. He, and he goes to the Jagai and Madhai. You don't see that he is devotee or not devotee. <laughs> Nitai Karuna Hove, Braje Radha Hove. Nitai mercy will come, all will happen. All love will come in our life. You see now, Garanga uh, Bhajan Mahabhava Singh is also Nitai singing that. Beautiful. So Nitai is more important, and Nitai to Garanga to you. And Nitai is Anand Manjari. And all you are very, I'm very proud of all of you that you can invite many, many singers, singing more, sharing less, singing more, sharing less, make the singing more and more. Many all the other 
society also invite everyone invite and sing singing and sharing love singing and sharing love this is the masses of this place should be that Ashwari, yeah. could you please add thing? Yeah. Yeah. Ashwari, please share something. What? Еще кого-то хотят пригласить. Очень такой интересный зум, вообще шикарный. Мы с Гавиндой Махини слушаем, прям в восторге. I'm lying in bed, but I'm with you all with my heart, and I'm so, so happy and so blessed to live with all these devotees, to to live in this ashram, and to be a part of this wonderful family, our small family and the big, big family we have together in Radha Dasya. I thank you so much. Thank you, Sudevi, for sharing. Thank you, Suniti, to be with us. Thank you, Guru Dev. I want to come to you. I cannot wait any longer. <laughs> When I'm back on my feet, I'm, I'm strong enough. I will come to Vrindavan. Um, thank you very much to all of you. Thank you. Rases, do you want to happen to you? Oh, I'm nothing special. Um, I think. Yes, it was too cold in the night. I don't know, Gurudev. It's, it's not so, no, not, um, um, I don't know, Gurudev, not, nothing special. <laughs> my, my kitcheries are hurt and, uh, yes, but everything is good. I will drink much and, and I'm full of love and, I'm so blessed to listen to those wonderful devotees. I was so touched deeply in my heart. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is the best medicine. <laughs> you are the best medicine. Go to Dave and all the devotees. You have to be strong, my dear. Yes, I'm strong to come to you, to come to Rindavan. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You have too much separation. That is the secret. Too much yes. separation mood. She's in the fever of separation mood. You have to call her back quickly to Rindavan. Yeah, yeah. See, that is nice. That is My I'm coming as soon as I can, Gurudev. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So you see, Gude, how you are making us all mad. <laughs> It's all your fault. We are sitting here crying and laughing at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Ora Gora Sunda, you also want to share something about the Satumas Ashram. Because uh, Sudevi said to me, we have the, we are also like uh, the birth giving forces, parents. parents, parents of protection. Yes. Yeah, we will see yet adopt here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering because I know Sadama since close to 30 years. It was my first temple I visited in Cologne. And um, I always res remember this uh, heartful welcome of Sadama. So when you enter the temple there, you always feel home, like home. No? Even as a foreigner from far away. I was at this, this time, I have no idea, even like now, but more. 
<laughs> no idea. <laughs> and um, but uh, the Sunday class was always really nice, and uh, the Sunday feast was even more nice. <laughs> I, you cannot imagine how many preparation there was every Sunday. There was for the best cooks from the Krishna movement from whole Europe. They come to Cologne, do service there. And I come to Cologne to get this prasadam, beautiful prasadam. <laughs> this was one, uh, really important point to, to go there every Sunday with my five children. They were very small, but they all like this prashad. But uh, I was um, wondering that um, this deities in Cologne, uh, this Gornitai deities, this big, beautiful deities, and also beautiful Temple room with with uh, colored glass windows, really nice art with some uh, Krishna deities uh, in in different colors, colors uh, in the glass. Very beautiful, really. Like in the style of the Cologne Dome from the Catholic Church, they have really big windows. But in this style, it, they did it, and it was uh, really. Uh, Beautiful. And this deities, Gornitai, they after, so she has to leave this, this temple somehow uh, by the mercy of, I don't know, uh, but I think Gornitai. And after this renovation she did in this, in the new ashram, then the same, uh, uh deities, Nitaigo, come again to her ashram. So there must be a, a, a very intimate uh, relationship that uh, it was the, her desire, the desire of Gornitai to come again close to Saduma. And because they remember her beautiful service and I think they was missing her so much that they again come to her place to get her beautiful association <laughs> and this this uh, uh, unique uh, prasadam. They remember, I'm sure, that uh, uh, she she did uh, every Sunday and also in the week, I think. So they cannot stay uh, uh, separate for for a longer time. So again, they come to her uh, new ashram, and now they are there. And even if Saduma is uh, leaving uh, the body, I think uh, her presence is still there in the devotees who are running this ashram now. And they do the same work than Saduma in her name now. And this is what I see there that the, these deities are not only some, uh, <laughs> these deities are not some marble things. They, they are really together with mm -hmm. us. If we have a, a relationship, a real relationship, no? So, and that we can see, uh, on Sadhama's place. And the example of Sadhama is really beautiful in a direct relationship with Gornitai, Nitai Gore. And um, yes, thank you, Gurudev, that you, you make this point with Nityananda. Yes. Ne? And they come more close with Ananga Manjari. Jai Rate, thank you. My sisters, my sisters. We are at the end of the words. We are only crying. Yes.
Like what you said, no more sharing, just the uh, bhajan, just the songs and the tear. I also want to share something small, malito, with all of you. Now, one. Uh, it was when. Uh, it was when. When uh, Karen Amrita came here the last time, she she said she had a surprise. And. Uh, I was wondering because I was I was already here, so she came. We were sitting with our dear Guru Dev in an, in this small room there, where he was before. And uh, in that moment, when she said the surprise is this, she rolled out a painting, and guess what painting it was? It was our Vaman. Vaman, uh, Vaman, Vaman Baba. You know, Mahabhav painted it, Karun Amrita brought it here and then we installed it. We framed it and we installed it here. Until now, it is like the, in the same place in Guru Kuncha, not moving, not, not one inch. It's so beautiful. When you all come, you will see it. It's right here in the Guru Kunch, right here. And you can also feel his presence when you see this. And this is by the mercy of Mahabharata. Wow. Yeah, it's really, it's really emotional, I tell you. This was so beautiful. And that was such a beautiful surprise because nobody knew it. Like last time when Suniki came, we all didn't know it. And then suddenly I was chanting the Mangalatik and, and, and suddenly Suniki appeared. I can say appeared because it was like this. In the middle of, a, of the Kirtan, she appeared with with my dear Gora Sunda and it, I was so, wow, it was such a beautiful surprise too. So we are full of surprises. We get so many surprises and so much mercy every day. And uh, this is so beautiful actually and such a big family and so many sharings and so, wow. Yeah, this was what I wanted to share with you how Vaman Baba came to Guru Kunj. <laughs> Oh, oh Gonakanda, what happened to your to your right eye? Nothing, Nothing. sleeping oh, little. You, you little just... too fun when we went huh? to Yamu for boating. Hmm. I catch little too much sun. Oh, okay. Swollen, yeah, it looks a little swollen. And Gora Chandaji, you also uh, have a connection to these Nitai Gorangas, right? Tell her. Do you know them from Nitai Kripa? Mm -hmm. Did you know them at that time? Were you there in Berlin? Nitai Kripa? Why? Mm, she, Mahasya? Yes, 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 she had them. Ah, now I remember. I just saw. For a short a moment, one deity no, that you show now in the Zoom. It was, it is ah. the one, yes. And I always told her, if one day you don't, you don't feel you can take care of them nicely anymore, like inform me. And then she, she contacted me. Mm -hmm. so ah, I remember. Once we had a small program with Paramat Veti in her apartment in Potsdam. And... Small apartment, but big deities. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah, okay, yeah. I remember. Yeah. yeah, I wanted also to share something about this art. No, last week we listened from uh, Rasta Mai's mother, Lavang Lavanga. How? Huh? Lavanga Latika. Lavanga Latika. Lavanga Latika. The process of how such a painting appears finally. So for non-artists like me, it's 
little like miracle. No? If you don't have any idea about art, then you think, okay, there's some talent and he sits down, she sits down and she paints things. But how she described what long process is it to make such a painting and that she goes in the conversation with the Radharani and with the Manjaris, how you want to appear, <laughs> what is your mood, what you want to hold in your hands in these pictures. Like it's a real meditation and making a real connection. And Mahababa also, how she first made the connection with Vamandas Babaji and mercifully he appeared. And I also feel that through his eyes, so much mercy coming from this picture. Na? It's real presence is there. And yeah, it's art is a very special thing. It, it comes from inside. Na? First, what we see outside is a manifestation from our inside meditations or inside feelings that is manifested outside. Everything that exists first existed in the mind or in the consciousness. Great. So oh. it's an amazing process. And no. the people who have entrance to that are really blessed. No? And I think the same counts for musicians also. They practice, they have desire, they want to play something beautiful, and then the melody is, is given. It's given, it's a gift, it's, it's coming to you and you just follow your inside inspiration. It's a divine thing, I guess. And yeah, so many things about the deities. I also, I can imagine that Rasa Lila and Shama Priya, they already also can see the new dress that we want to make for Rara Mohan. They visualize inside already how it looks like. And according to that, they stitch everything. So, yeah. Thank you for sharing Mahabhava also, especially today, because I don't know her. I only reading Mahabhava in the uh, Radha Dasya, and I know our Radha Mahabhava from Germany. So now I am met second Mahabhava, and I'm very thankful for your sharing today. Radhe Radhe. Thank you so much. What you just said, it's just, it, that, that's it. It's, it's all true and, and so, so wonderful. We, all art is, is the connection. The real art is actually uh, making connection with the divine realm. And uh, we are like, like uh, channels to connect the divine, the spiritual dimension and and bring it out and so so everybody can can actually experience it and we are just like uh blessed and every kind everybody can do that whatever you feel like your soul is yearning for to express you can all do this it's not that we like artists are privileged you know to do this everyone has this innate creativity in their hearts because creativity is the the um, quality of the soul it's a spiritual quality actually and and so we can all actually connect that with the with the spiritual world and and express it outside and this is so so something very wonderful and thank you so much for sharing this story uh, dear Raghunath, about uh, how Babaji has arrived, and uh, that that's really, really very inspiring. And um, I think Karunamrita also uh, had some very special experience while she was 
carrying that uh, painting with her and then he when he was in her home also I think I don't know if she's here maybe she would like to share <laughs> If not, he then said, it's okay. He said she always felt the presence, his presence there. She told me that. She always yes. felt his presence. I want to add something. The same thing also is going for the Leela. No? When not called drama, when people acting like Radha, Krishna, the Leela is the same idea of the line flow and Gurudev I think in Mungia and in, in the king's uh, city there was always Leela going on and some people there were so good channels and instruments by performing the Ram Leela that hundreds of people they start crying they feeling the presence and the the mood of the Ramayana, and it's also a divine thing. So everything in art is the divine, and being an instrument and chant for it. Yeah. Radhe. Oh, yes, you're right about it. Uh, if whoever have, has this experience uh, by rehearsing a drama or something related to the Leelas, just, just as we had uh, when we were there in, in Vrindavan, in Munger Mandir, but that play never ne was never realized, but uh, we actually had this opportunity to, to uh, rehearse uh, with our dear Kishore, who was who was actually directing a, a very, in in a way, funny play about Jagai and Madai, and while we were rehearsing, we went so much into those roles that we couldn't get rid of Jaga and Madai. <laughs> it was so funny that you have to be careful who you are channeling, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Very good feelings. Where you are channeling, that is very important. So always channel with that you are the Dasi of Pradhyaya. So I say Nita is Anang Manjari and Radha is feeling of Mahaprabhu is Radha Bhav and covering of Radha is there. So Gauranga is two Radha, one part of the Krishna. I mean, Krishna is there, but two sides is Radhika. So I say the female become Prakriti from Prusa is the goal of our life. And that Prakriti is a, our spiritual body. And Prusa is my material body. Understand? Radhe. Yeah. Prakriti is our spiritual body. How to get the, how to be in a spiritual body? That is the goal of our life. Nice. Jai Radhe. Jai Radhe. <coughs> so already time is over for today. Suniti. Don't speak like this harsh words. We are eternal. I can show you. will thank that we have a dance at the now. In, yeah, in Japan. It is late, right? Mm. So I want to announce yeah. also for next week, 
please uh, our list is open all those who are listening please uh, come forward and share what is uh, close to your heart whatever service you like to share whatever give a speech guru they want to give instruction yes system is this they have to give the name first yes who like to say to suniti and suniti will give the number 1234 uh, they have to give their realization num- name talk in their language but they have to bring translator also together so that way that uh, we uh, it should be in english but they can talk in their language also they are welcome we will listen them and is very good to sh- by sharing your realizations we will grow our spiritual life is helping for our spiritual development <laughs> yeah this is yeah, the so- motto national radha dashim program jai ho international radha das is ki jai <laughs> actually this is also the reason that gurudev sometimes is not in the picture he don't want to be in the center he want that we are sharing everything put us the devotees here in the room always in front of camera and sometimes he also want to share something but the main thing is that we devotees share with each other that is desire of gurudev jai radha radha 